What's going on world? It's your homie Sensei Riff and I'm back again with another video. Today we got Romeo announcing to the world that him and his father Master P have finally had a conversation. That's right y'all, moments ago via Instagram, Romeo made a post with a picture of him and his father and a caption that reads, in order to be used, you have to be willing to be misunderstood and humiliated sometimes. Nor was mocked for building the boat. Jara showed us that sometimes we have to be willing to walk through the dead places so that God could show us how he could use every situation. No one ever thought little David could defeat the giant, and we all know the mistreatment of Jesus. My point, I'm willing to follow my sword for mines. It was never about right or wrong, parent versus child, or this narrative, or that. It was about doing whatever had to be done for the growth of my family. Today, today, excuse me, December 31st, me and my father, Master P, had a very hard conversation, ironically outside in the rain. But in order for any generation to grow, that communication has to be had and reciprocated on both sides, the good, the bad, and the ugly. No matter the journey ahead, our family can truly begin to heal, and I believe many others will use our story as an example to learn from. What a way to close out the year. Hashtag for Tai Tai. All right. Now, again, this was the latest news in regards to Romeo calling out Master P via Instagram. Um, and since then, it, it appears that Master P and Romeo have finally made up. Right. Put their differences to the side. And this looks like they're on the path to healing, man. And, uh, and to that, I say, you know, shout out to Master P and Romeo for, you know, finally having a conversation. I hate that it had to spill over to social media, but, you know. Sometimes people feel like they have to, uh, you know, resort to these type of measures. So I can't really judge Romeo or Master P. But this is why sometimes it's hard to really, you know, speak on certain topics. Whenever there's family issues internally, we're not privy to information um, that the family would. And we all know from personal experiences with our family, certain things we don't, you know, speak to the public. We don't divulge the type of information. So when it comes to families having issues back and forth, the same thing with 50 and his son, man, you got to be, got to be mindful, you know what I mean? Uh, of the, the reaction or the takes that we get, because, you know, if you jump out there, you know what I mean? Talking ill on master P or Romeo, whatever, you know, now you got to stick with that. Meanwhile, this is a family matter. They've had a conversation and, you know, it looks like they're on the path of healing resolve. And that's what it's about, man. That's what I like to hear. And it's good to see them actually do this publicly. So that way people won't just, you know, think that there's this big old beef happening between, you know, Master P and Romeo. When in reality, they're family, man. That's his son. He loves his son. I'm sure Romeo loves his father. And um, for the betterment and the growth of their family, it's a must that they had to have this conversation. So why not on the last day of the year? So for that, salute to Romeo. Salute to Master P. Y'all let me know. What's your thoughts on Romeo finally having a conversation with Master P? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Happy New Year. And uh, I'll catch y'all at 23. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace.